Okay, YouTube, we're going to be starting a new series here today, a player lock with Pete Alonzo. I'm going to be taking every at-bat throughout this season and potentially his whole career. We'll see how this goes. I'm here live on Twitch, so catch me there, twitch.tv slash Monk. There's a link in the description down below, and I'll put one in the comments also. But here we go. We're starting off at age 25. He's 89 rated, obviously had an incredible rookie season, right? His uh, power at 99 for both righties and lefties. Contact 68 versus righties, 60 versus lefties. And then let's look at uh, his in-depth stats here. 98 durability, so he's not going to be getting injured. Maybe I'll turn off injuries, though. I haven't really decided that. Vision, discipline, and clutch. Pretty good discipline. The vision is low, which is going to be rough to start off, but he's a rookie, right? we got to build that up. And the fielding is still a little bit low. I think we can upgrade that as well. We'll see kind of how he grows throughout the uh, seasons. And let's check here. This was his rookie year. 53 home runs. He did have one stolen base, 260 uh, average, and yeah. So a really solid year. I'll run through the entire list here if you want to check the stats. And we'll be uh, checking it throughout the entire year as well. His whole career we'll be uh, running through these stats and just see how we compare to how he did in real life that rookie year, right? So I did want to make a couple moves. We're going to be player locked with Pete Alonzo, but I'm also going to be the manager. And we're going to be making some trades and doing some things here. So we're in preseason. I'll probably take a couple at-bats during preseason and then we'll jump right into the regular season during this uh, career mode episode. So let's see what else we got here. What do you think about this chat? What do you think? Are we looking good? Looks like the stream quality is a little rough. So I am going to be talking to chat as well on the uh, YouTube video. And all okay, right. So the first little move I wanted to do was get rid of some of the older veterans, right? There is Ioannis Cespedes, which... You know, I'm not sure if he's going to be playing in real life. We'll see what happens. But I wanted to give a chance to J uh, J.D. Davis. So I'm going to put him in the outfield and get him playing every day. We're going to have Jeff McNeil playing third. We'll start Robinson Cano at second. And one other player I wanted to move on from was Jed Lowry. He's just kind of an extra at bat. He's going to be coming off the bench. So let's see what we can do. We're going to make some moves here, move around some players, make a few trades, and then we'll jump into a preseason game and get some at bats. But let's go ahead and jump into a few trades here. So let's go. Oh, first, let's update our trading blocks so we can get some uh, teams giving us trades here. Let's go with... Uh, let's see. Wilson Ramos, we could take trades for him. Edwin Diaz, too. Jed Lowry, Cespedes. Uh, Marismic, Porcello, that's a player that I might want to move on from. Michael Waka, too. And then we got some good young players like David Peterson maybe coming up fairly soon. Andres Jimenez is a good young player. And Brett Batty is one of the top prospects right now for the New York Mets. So let's just leave those guys on the trading block for now. And yeah, let's see what we can get here. So I think I ran through it before. Jed Lowry is a player that I wanted to move on from. And then also Rick Porcello. Let's see if we can package these guys together and uh, get somebody for the squad here. What did I want to do? I think I made a trade with the Yankees. And was it for ooh Tanaka? We could get Tanaka in the starting rotation. Aaron Hicks. We don't really need him. We're trying to pick up, I guess, some more pitching because I want to give J.D. Davis a chance here. So Rick Porcello and Jed Lowry, we're actually going to be taking on more money than we're giving up in this trade. Let's uh, let's do a manual trade for that one, actually. Jed Lowry, let's try and pick up Tanaka. Why not? Don't know shit about baseball. Ready to learn, though. <laughs> don't know names, but... You know the stats? Or you know the names, but not the stats? Yeah, you guys will get used to it for sure, believe me. How do you do just a manual trade here? Was it Porcello and Cespedes that I was trying to give up? Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, okay, this was the trade that I 
wanted to do right here we're going to be giving out porcello and cespedes getting tanaka and adovino another piece for the bullpen and tanaka for the rotation much better than porcello in this game and also we'll move up some we'll get rid of some money we're increasing our cash flow a little bit and we'll open up a spot for jd davis to play every day in the outfield so that's what we're going to do right there. We end up with our first trade. And so the other play that I wanted to get rid of was Jed Lowry. Let's go look here what we could get. Let's go MLB ready. Actually, you know what I wanted to do? It was a straight up trade. And we're going to bring somebody back to the New York Mets. Where is he? I believe he's on the Giants. Let's go ahead and check. He moved teams recently. All right, here he is. Jed Lowry. I don't care. We're going straight up for Wilmer Flores. We're going to be getting, yeah, we're going to be increasing our cash flow a little bit, right? All right. So we give up Jed Lowry. We got Wilmer Flores back on the team, guys. He's going to be coming off the bench for us. And let's go ahead and set the lineup. So we'll get J.D. Davis playing every day now. I want him playing left field every day. Let's see here. I think they'll adjust our lineup. What's up, Mirhat? How you been, brother? We're starting off a new series here on MLB. So, okay. It has J.D. Davis playing left field. Uh, and, and everything there. All right. Jeff McNeil, Pete Alonzo. And then I want you guys to get in the comments. Where should we bat Pete Alonzo? Is he going to be number three in the lineup? I think I want to put him number four, honestly. I think I want to do this. Have Cano second, Jeff McNeil third, and Pete Alonzo fourth. We'll be hitting in the cleanup hole. Welcome to the stream, Mirhat. How you been, man? Come on. We had to bring back Wilmer Flores. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and uh, simulate a week here of the preseason. We'll go ahead and check how our players are doing, and then we'll jump into a game here against the uh, Houston Astros. Just get some at-bats in. All right, let's go ahead and check. We're two and four in preseason. Let's check how Pete Alonzo's doing. Batting. Oh no, that's Jeff McNeil. Pete Alonzo batting 235 with one home run in the preseason so far. Let's go ahead and get some practice in, guys. We made a few trades to the squad. Let's go check the rotation. Tanaka in there in the third spot. Mats and Waka. Oh, Cindergard. Oh, they took him out because he's injured. Well, he's not injured in this game, right? Cindergaard's going into the rotation. That's disrespectful. All right, let's go ahead and here. We're going to go player lock Pete Alonzo. The first at-bats here in the preseason. We'll probably just do one game here just to get some practice, and then we'll get into the real thing. Let's do this. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm going to be a player lock, though. So I'm like just one player on the team. We're just taking at-bats. You'll get used to it. Why do people get 10-year contracts in baseball? Because in baseball, you can play into your late 30s and be very productive. Sometimes into your 40s, right? We got some great fruit league baseball out here. Look at Big Pete in the preseason uniform, high-fiving uh, Eduardo Nunez. Oh, Dominic Smith. Yo, I want to see. I think Dominic Smith is going to be starting in the minors. We'll have to check that. And we're going up against Lance McCullers for the first at-bats here. We'll see if we get a uh, chance in the first inning. All right, here we are. Jeff McNeil is on first base. And there's two outs. Pete Alonzo coming up to bat. And also, guys, on YouTube and in, uh, on Twitch, let me know. Right now, the difficulty is set to dynamic. So it's going to be adjusting based on how well I do or how bad. I believe right now it's like just at the high veteran level, just below. Oh, swinging first pitch. Oh, I forgot. When you do a player lock, it gives you like commands coming out of the uh, microphone on the controller. That might be kind of loud for you guys on the mic. Did you hear that? All right, let's be a little bit more patient, though, in our next at bat. Here we are coming up. In the third inning, we took the lead as well. So you guys can see there in the bottom right, 
batting difficulty is on veteran, I believe. All right, we'll take a pitch. Pete Alonzo, give me something, baby. We got a man on second, so an RBI potential. Not the best pitch to swing at, honestly. Can you guys hear those voice commands coming out of the PS4 controller? Carlos, Mirhat, can you hear those? Yo, Mirhat, what do you think about the Pokeballs in the top right? Oh, our first chance here defensively with Pete Alonso. This is going to be the tough part for me. Looks like it's right at me. Got it. But we're going to have to pay attention, like, if there's men on base, if there's different stuff. You think I should turn off the, the uh, mic on the controller or not? What do you think, Twitch? All right, let's wait for a pitch, a mistake pitch, so we can crush it. We got a man on first here in the sixth inning. We're now down 3-1. to 2-0 count. Big Pete, come on, baby. Three O count. We're gonna have to be very selective in this series when we really get into it. I'm gonna have to have a good eye because remember his vision rating is not very good, and we end up with a walk. I think I should turn it off. Let's go ahead and check if I can do that from here. Oh, looks like I can. Huh, where would it be? Inside the shell? I think it's this one. Yep, there it is. Alright, it's off for now. Let me know if you guys want me to turn it back on. What's up, Bambini? Why is Pete Alonzo running? We just made our first base running mistake. We have to pay attention to that. Remember, we only had one steal, too. <laughs> oh, the base running mistakes are probably going to be coming in a lot. Oh, we got to get back to first. All right, we did it. Double play, let's go. Yeah, I have been dropping frames. I don't know why. Everything is like clean on my stream. Oh, we got pinch hit for at the end of the game. So Matt Adams is up. Let's just go ahead and simulate quick manage. We're down a run. Dellen Patance is coming in. Sorry, Twitch chat. If we're dropping frames. Hopefully it comes back. We may have to restart at some point. And it looks like we took the loss here in preseason. And not the best performance for me. Only one walk. 0 for 2. And we had a base running mistake also. I just b grasped the batting and offense, and now you're playing in the field? <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead. Sim to regular season. Let's see what they do with the team, though, after those couple trades, right? Is there anything else I wanted to do here? Let me check before we get into it. We got Cindergard in the rotation. And I think I am just going to tur turn uh, injuries off. Let's go ahead and check if we can do that from here. I think it's in the sliders, yeah. But we saw Pete Alonso had really good durability anyway. All right, so we're gonna decrease the injury probability and we're gonna increase the trade frequency just a bit. 
I'll try that for now. Yeah, you can open packs. We'll do some uh, pack opening a little bit later. We're going to do this Pete Alonzo player lock for a bit. I wonder how many stubs I'm going to get for like the uh, MLB Diamond Dynasty mode, though. All right, let's simulate to the last game of the uh, preseason. Just check the uh, check th how everybody did. We are just above 500. All right, 12 and 11. Let's check here. Nimmo ended up above 300. So did Cano. Pete Alonso, decent preseason. Look at all of our batters did decent. Oh, J.D. Davis, a little bit rough. Conforto, Dominic Smith, a rough preseason. But pretty good overall for our uh, batting. Let's check the rotation. DeGrom, a little bit rough for him. Syndergaard had a great preseason. Tanaka had a rough one, the new guy. All right, well, I think we're good to go, guys. We're into the regular season. Let's get this started. The Pete Alonzo player lock is off, and the first game is against Max Scherzer. Let's, uh, let's go right into it. DeGrom versus Scherzer. Actually, let's make sure the lineup's good. Ooh, they got uh, Cano DHing. Yeah, let's get Cano in there. They got J.D. Davis playing third. They got Mariznick in the lineup. Huh. Yeah, nah, let's go with Cano. And J.D. Davis will be playing what? Oh, my. They have Matt Adams in left field? No way. Definitely taking him out. Okay, so McNeil is going to be playing third. And he's going to be hitting third. We're going to have Conforto right behind me. J.D. Davis. We'll put him a little bit down in the lineup. Sorry. This is kind of frustrating that we have to change all this again. Got Wilmer Flores in there, DHing. Let's go. Can't put Conforto that far down in the lineup. That's disrespectful. Looks like they're taking Cano out of the lineup versus uh, versus lefties. I guess that's fine. All right, that's the lineup for now. We're hitting fourth, boys. What's going on with the roster here? Oh, okay. The Yankees and the Giants accepted our trades. So here we are, 89 rated after preseason, going into game number one. Let's go, baby. Mirhat, you leaving? Thank you guys for joining the stream. Hopefully you enjoy it. We are in here. Player Locked with Pete Alonzo. If you're watching on YouTube, remember, check me out on Twitch. Jacob DeGrom going, oh, wait, we got to do Player Lock. What are we doing here? Play game. Player Lock. We got to make sure we do that. Pete Alonzo, Player Locking with him. Here we go. And we're hitting fourth. First game of the year. Opening day. Welcome to the stream. Let's go Mets. I got my shirt on. David Wright shirt from a long time ago. Got my minor league hat on. Let's watch some of the uh, beginning festivities. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Opening day is here. Opening day. It's time. With a good the Looks like the stream kind of came back, but we did drop a lot of frames there for a bit. Hopefully my internet will hold up overall. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening, opening day. On MLB Network. 
Look at uh, City Field. You gotta love it. Of course, in real life, we're missing this day in real life. IRL. Last year's ranks. DeGrom on the mound. Let's go, boys. I'm so ready. All right, we're simulating to the first ex uh, first appearance. Let's hope, hope DeGrom doesn't get knocked up. All right, good. We're coming up here in the first inning. One out, man on second. Here's Big Pete against Max Scherzer. We got a chance for an RBI in our first at-bat. I'm taking first pitch. Play it smart. We got to have a good eye in this series. We're going to be doing a lot of power swings, of course, but for this at-bat, I'm going to stick with a normal swing. 2-0 count. Max Scherzer doesn't want to test me. Are the Mets good? They should be pretty good this year, I think, Michaelos. And a 3-0 count. We got to take a pitch. First game of the year, first inning, 3-0 count. We're taking it. In the future, though, we're swinging power on these on these pitches coming. Yeah, see? We should have smashed that one. But it's okay. First at-bat of the year. He threw a high, little bit of a high fastball. I'm going to look down low this time. Oh, I thought I was on that. A little bit early on the slider, though. Oh, the timing wasn't there. I may have ground out, too. That was a good low slider. All right, we fight a fastball off. Not the best contact there. Come on, Big Pete. Fighting another one off. Man, if every at-bat is like this, this uh, series could take a while. Oh, barely got contact on that one. Long at-bat here for Pete Alonso. Who said he doesn't have good vision? I'm looking for a fastball now. Oh, it's a good one inside. I should have laid off it. It was ball four. Max Scherzer starts us off dirty, but we made him work, right? We made him throw a lot of pitches, but, oh, that's a rough strikeout. Way late on that swing, too. All right, we're coming up here in the third inning. The Mets have a 3-0 lead. And Scherzer still doesn't want to throw me strikes. I'm swinging here, though, swinging power, looking to up and in fastball. Oh, change up. Of course he rocks me with the change up there. Remember, Max Scherzer is one of the best pitchers in all of baseball, so. This is a uh, rough matchup for our first first game, but they're facing Jacob DeGrom. Oh, I end up chasing a slider on the outside zone. Not a strike. Come on, Pete Alonzo. We need to fight. Oh. Swinging at a changeup. All right, I'm looking fastball now. It's an away slider. We work him to a 3-2 count again. No. I adjusted way too much, and we pop up. Rip. But we're doing good here. This is not not a bad performance. We're making Max Scherzer work. The Mets are up 5 nothing too. Huh. Oh, 99 can't catch up. Who's this? They got a new pitcher in the game. Max Scherzer's already out, boys. Oh, man. And then we're swinging at a low slider. All right. We can't buy our first hit so far. As Drupal Cabrera, former Met. Well, we should have a decent amount of opportunity. It's still only the sixth inning here. We got defensive. 
Got it with the backhand. And Trey Turner, a fast runner, too, was able to get there. All right, boys, we're 0 for 3. Not starting off well here. Come on, give me a chance. Well, right now we're doing a player lock series, so I'm only playing with one guy. So you may be a little bit confused. But, yeah, we're up 5 nothing. Ooh, I wanted to swing, but we lay off. Our eye is looking a little bit better. Let's try and look for a pitch here. Down low to the right. I'm swinging power. Oh! Too early, but we had perfect contact. No! That one was down the middle. I adjusted. I'm swinging too early again. I thought this guy was throwing a... Uh, yeah, there's the 96, 99. All right, another 3-2 count. Low changeup. Yeah, the other guys are scoring points for us. I haven't done the best so far in this game. But we work a walk. Man, we're making the pitchers every time we've worked it to a 3-2 count almost. This is crazy. And Conforto's coming up while we're at on base here. We're on first. Conforto's up. Two men on. No outs. And it was a double play. I tried to slide into him there. Did you see that? <laughs> All right. Well, the first player log game, nothing really crazy happening, but we worked some really good at bats. And for like a full year game plan, if we can do like that all the time, we're going to be doing pretty well. Looks like the New York Mets got the win. Let's move on to the next game. Yeah, that was a red card when I slid into the uh, guy there. <laughs> Ran right into him. All right, let's move on to the next game. Let's try and smash some home runs. That was a tough uh, matchup against Scherzer there. But the Mets ended up with nine hits, six runs. And we made him work, like I said. We made Scherzer throw a lot of pitches. He uh, ended up coming out of the game. So here we are going into game number two, and it doesn't get too much easier. We got to go up against Strasburg now. said something about the 40-man roster in the on the top left of the screen there so Steven Strasburg Ooh, I like those new hats for the Nationals with the W there that's kind of cool yeah Budo is getting carried right now for sure <laughs> didn't realize we're on war zone already hey I had a pretty good run in war zone Ooh, playing in the rain too Looks like a cloudy, rainy day here for the New York Mets. Cindergaard on the mound. Oh, Cindergaard gave up a run in the first inning, but here we are coming up. Two men on. First inning. We're going up against Strasburg. I'm going to take a pitch. Low fastball. All right. If I was looking there, maybe could have done some damage, but... I'm going to look inside and hope we can get something here. Oh, that's not what we want. We're going to ground it to a double play. Oh, man. I thought that changeup looked a little bit more down the middle than it was. Come on, game. Well, that doesn't help the team. Oh, look, it's Heidi Watney. All right, Heidi. Well, we're still searching for our first hit here in 2020. Come on, Pete. We're down two runs now. We got a man on base, though. I don't want to ground out again, so I'm going to look a little bit lower this time. This time, I'm going to look down the middle, though. 
All right, low curveball. You can see the uh, count in the upper left. You get three strikes, boys. Three strikes, you're out. Oh, how am I missing that? Right down the middle. See my uh, PCI looking low? I should have been right here. I'm looking low this time, though. Got it. First home run of the year. Pete Alonso ties up the game. That 99 power. That was a normal swing. We just helped out the New York Mets, boys. Rise the apple in center field. Pete Alonso with the first big shot of the year. And we tie it up 2-2. Syndergaard gave up a couple runs. We're back in it. Let's get a replay on that. That was a no-doubter, too. He just walked off, just looked at it. Bang! Look, you get the show track. Exit velocity, 110 miles an hour. Launch angle at 36 degrees. Ooh. Goodbye. 396 feet. That's not even really that far. A lot of hang time, though. Six seconds of hang time. That's like a golf swing right there. First hit of the year, and it's a two-run bomb. Now it's tied 3-3. Three to three. We're in the fifth inning. Man on first. I'm going to look inside, and I'm swinging power. Oh, I did a check swing, but it ends up a strike. <laughs> Yo, I bamming. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you, man. If you guys are new, welcome to the stream. Say what's up. Drop a follow. Low curve ball. Is Strasburg still in the game? How do I check this? I can't tell. I think this is still Strasburg. Fifth inning here. Oh, we got lucky. The umpire called that a ball. I was borderline on the top corner there. Ooh, it's a good pitch on the outside corner. Not going to do much with that. I'm going to look low and inside here. Let's see if we can get a hit. All right. We work it to a 3-2 count. Again. If you guys are watching this on YouTube and you're keeping track, let me know how many 3-2 counts we've had so far. Ooh. I swung power, but I brought the PCI down. I'm not, I need to stay more middle, man. All right. Attack me. Ooh. I almost got to it, but I adjusted a little bit too much. It was more down the middle. I need to stay down the middle, but if you guys have been noticing, McNeil has been on base for us a lot so far. So, yeah, definitely need McNeil right in front of Pete Alonso in the lineup. That's for sure. Oh, we got a. Oh, I probably should have dove for that one, right? You got to press right trigger to dive. Not a good defensive play from Pete Alonso there. Oh, wow, and they take the lead now, 7-5. to five. But we have an opportunity. There's no outs. There's a man on second. So with baseball strategy, right, a good play here is to at least move the runner to third base. So I'm going to try to push the ball to the right field, to the right field side, just so we can move that runner to third base with one out. But we are down two. We'll see if they adjust their pitching to kind of play with me because of that. Let's see what's going to happen here. I'm looking low and away. He throws it up high. All right. Come at me. I'm ready for it. Yes. Hit a laser down the third baseline. I'm going for second. Pete Alonso's really slow, but we end up with there. And we got an RBI. RBI double for Big Pete. If the throw was on line there, he may have got us out at second, though. Nice hit down the line right there. 
We don't have a ton of speed, so we just barely made it to second base. <laughs> All right, now Conforto's up. We got to be smart base runner here. All right, on the ground, I'm not running, especially toward third base. Although, that was probably the third baseman that had that, so maybe I should have gone. This is where you actually want those voice commands because it helps you out a little bit. All right, he's staying stay at third, stay at third. All right, we're at third base here. We're the tying run as well, boys. Yeah, that was a poor throw from the th fielder for sure. We're the tying run. We're on third base. J.D. Davis is up at bat. It's 6-7. to seven. And he strikes out. But we got one more at bat. This is the bottom of the seventh inning too. J.D. Davis. Oh, man. I gave you a chance by trading Cespedes. I need you to have a big year, J.D. Davis. I gave him full-time starting ability by trading Cespedes. Go, go, go! We tie it up. Nice. Let's go, boys. Tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Look at him celebrating over there at first. Mariznik, the new guy. Big hit for the team. How did he hit that? It was like on his hands. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got a defensive thing to do here. Man on first, one out. All right, if he hits it to me. Oh, he's bunting. Tag him at first, that's fine. We tag him at first, he sacrifices a guy over to second. Nine inning games. We're doing nine inning games out here. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I'm getting a lot of questions because a lot of my Twitch followers are from FIFA. Here we are in a big situation. There's one out, two men on. It's tied seven to seven in the eighth inning. I'm just gonna do a normal swing. Oh. I tried to do a check swing there, but it still ended up a strike. Alright, I'm looking low. No, that was a bad one to chase. Wow, really bad pitch to chase. It said that we've grounded into a lot of double plays, so. He knows I'm looking low, so we threw an up top there. Let's see if we can get a hit. What's up, Tom? Oh, end up fishing down low. And we can't help the team this time. We've had a really good game so far, but that was not a good at bat. It's a good pitch, though. Would you have swung at that in the comments? Let me know. Oh, here we are coming up again in the 10th inning. We're in extra innings. Two outs, two men on. Oh, oh I wanted it. I thought that was going to be more down the middle than it was. I wanted that so bad. Oh, man, another curveball, huh? 0 2 count here, not looking good for us. All right, we lay off a high fastball, couldn't catch the zone there. I'm looking low and in, boys. Let's see if we can make some magic. He doesn't attack me. He's looking angry. See his face? Come on, Pete. My controller, by the way, is rumbling. Oh! That was a good cutter down low out of the zone. And we get thrown out. Oh, man. Let's see if we get another chance. Wow, we do. We're in the 13th inning here. We're two for six. Come on, we got to up this batting average because the first game we went 0 for. Oh, 
Man, I keep chasing these low ones. You've been learning a lot about baseball because of my streams? And YouTube? Oh, that one catches the zone? Wow. Yeah, I can't believe game two, we're in the 13th inning. And they still have Pete Alonzo in. They might sub me out at some point. Oh, that's a strike. Wow, couldn't get the bat off my shoulders that time. But we end up winning the game. Looks like. And we got player of the game, guys. Even though we struck out there at the end. Pete Alonzo, our first player of the game. Big two-run home run to tie it up early. And then we had an RBI a little bit later, and we had a run scored. All right, first time getting player of the game, two out of seven, which is not really the best, but the home run, three RBIs is really big. So, And we had uh, on-base percentage was pretty good. So let's go, boys. Another win for the Mets. 23 hits. 23 hits to 16 hits. Eight to seven in the 14th inning. Seth Lugo gets the win. Who else played really well for us? McNeil went five for seven. Marisnik had a good game. Flores had a home run. Yes, Wilmer. Yo, our first player of the game, boys. And our first couple hits, our first home run also. We got that off our backs, right? Got our first home run of the year. And our batting average really isn't the best, but hey, the New York Mets are 2-0. and Let's see if we can get the sweep here against the Washington Nationals. So this is going to uh, take actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Let me go ahead and save really quick. Before anything happens. The Mets are 2-0, and Tom. Let's go. Yo, that was a pretty good start, though. The first game was really rough for me, Tom, against Max Scherzer. Hey, look at that, guys. Player spotlight. Pete Alonzo, two for seven. With a home run. Yeah, the first game was uh, tough against Max Scherzer. We did a little bit better that time against uh, Strasburg. And now we come up against Corbin, who actually is from around this area where I live. He's from Syracuse, and I wanted the New York Mets to sign him. But he is a lefty. Oh, but Pete Alonzo actually has worse contact stats versus lefties. That's interesting for a right-handed batter, right? Let's go, boys. Game number three. Let's see if we can get this sweep against the Nationals. And apparently this YouTube series is going to take a lot longer than I thought. We're only in game number three. We're about an hour into the stream. Stream quality looking a little bit better, Bob. How we looking? If you guys are new, drop that follow button. Say what's up. How's Syracuse basketball doing? Pretty well, actually. They won their last game of the year. <laughs> I don't think they'll be finishing off this year. Look at Pete Alonzo going up against Patrick Corbin. And Stroman on the mound. So let's get a look at our uh, stats here. Oh, they're still showing 2019. 120 RBIs for him in the year, too. That's huge. All right, here we are, first inning. We're down a run, but two men on with one out for us. Oh, and he throws me up and in fastball. I feel you, Corbin. I feel you. Looking low this time, low and away. All right, we lay off an inside slider. I'm swinging power this time. I'm looking up and away. Oh, it was there. I laser it. And everybody's safe. Is that going to be an error? That's a base hit, boys. Because that was a tough play. And he couldn't even get an out at second base. It's now bases loaded here in the first inning. Patrick Corbin. <laughs> All 
I mean, to be honest, I hit that really hard, though. It was a tough play. Does Wilson Ramos have something wrong with his eye? What was going on there? All right, let's not make any base running mistakes. All right, we're good. He flew out. It looks like we do get a run, though. Sacrifice fly ties up the game. Wilson Ramos, good job. J.D. Davis coming up here. For the entire series, too, do you guys like the base running? Go, go, go. There's two outs. I'm going to third. <laughs> he catches it. I think I'm just going to mess up the base running in defense. But if you guys want me to play it, I'm down to do it. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> you got to believe. Let's go, Mats. Oh, we get a defensive opportunity here. No men on, no outs. All right, easy play. You like the base running? It's kind of fun, but it is nice to have those voice commands that they give you through the controller. But I turned it off for the video. All right, we're back at bat here. There's two outs, one man on. Dude, Jeff McNeil is always on base. <laughs> when has Jeff McNeil not been on first base so far in this series? You're playing franchise mode, and you got the Marlins at 50 and 20 in year one? Or did you, like, make some trades and bring some prospects up? Got to that one. Is that a home run? It is. Dude, Pete Alonzo, his normal, like, line drive hits just end up as a home run. Home run number two on the year. And remember, guys, we're starting off here early. We're on dynamic difficulty, so we're, like, veteran plus, just a little bit below all-star. But it'll, it'll continue to increase the level as we go throughout this series. That dynamic difficulty. We'll see kind of where we end up. Dude, smash that one. Let's check the uh, exit velocity and everything. I like the uh, stats. I like that screen, too, going throughout the dugout. Bang. That was like a more of a line drive. Remember the last one had six seconds of hang time. This one, not a lot of hang time at all. It didn't even show the stats for hang time. That was a line drive, boys. We're two for two, home run and a single. Let's go. Home run. What a guy, Pete Alonzo. Oh, I wanted that slider. You guys see the plane going overhead? I like that little touch in the game because that, that happens very often at City Field because they're right below the, uh, the airport or where the airplanes fly over. And it's, you may think it could be distracting, but it's a part of the stadium, right? Every stadium has their little, like, unique little touch. And that's part of New York City's little touch. Did Pete Alonso get it? Oh, didn't get a hold of it. It's going to be caught in left field. That time I swung power. On the home run, I did a normal swing. Alonso going to break his own home run record? We checked the stats before we started, Tom. His rookie year, he had 52 home runs. 52 or 53. And 120 RBIs, and he batted 260 average. Look at that one again, by the way. Laser shot. That fan just got hit right in the donker. Yeah, I've been to City Field multiple times. It's awesome because uh, it's it's actually kind of in the hood. It's not really in the best area, but it's right off of the uh, train stop. So you get off the train, the seven-line train, I think it is, and uh, you're right at the field, like walking up into the stadium right away. It's great. All right, boys. 
We got two men on, no out here. We're up four to one. Let's see if we can increase this lead. I'm gonna look down low. Ooh, he throws it up high and he catches the corner too. Oh, he just threw it right there. All right, I'm looking inside this time. Oh, I end up chasing a slider. That one was way out of the zone too. Those are tough though. That was a really good pitch. Did you see how much that moved? That one's like. I've been to the uh, old Mets stadium too, Shea Stadium. Just tag him at first there. So playing at first base, you get a lot of those opportunities where you have to go get a bunt. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to tag him out. Oh, that was our last opportunity at bat, but we get the win again. We just swept the Washington Nationals, who won the World Series last year. And Pete Alonso helped out in that game for sure. Two for four with a home run, two RBIs, run scored. Conforto had a home run. Wilson Ramos went three for three. Stroman had a good game pitching, and he gets the win. Are tickets tickets expensive? I think uh, like fifty dollars for the upper deck, and maybe like eighty to a hundred for like nice seats. And you can find a little bit cheaper too, like twenty dollars maybe. But everything at the stadium is very expensive. All the food, drinks, it's crazy expensive. You want to visit a lot of ballparks in America? Going to Wrigley Field next, you think? That's cool, man. I always wanted to do that, try to visit all the ballparks. So let's go take a look at the uh, squad here after sweeping the Nationals. Uh, What's going on there? The 40-man roster. We should be good with that, right? Let's go check the uh, stats here real quick. Ahmed Rosario having a little bit of a rough year to start, 187. Robinson Cano, not bad. Wow, look at Jeff McNeil. Like I said, he's been on base pretty much every time we've had an at-bat. He's batting 667 in the first three games. We're batting 286, but we have two big home runs. Conforto batting 333 with a home run. Ramos batting over 500. J.D. Davis having a little bit of a rough start. Matt Adams when that bat there. Wilmer Flores has a home run for the squad. I'm getting Wilmer Flores in there a little bit more. He's going to be DH all the time. Dominic Smith, too. I think we should probably move Dominic down to uh, AAA so he can develop a little bit. He's still a young player, and he has a potential to develop. So, Yo, what's up, China? I love how you have that first symbol. You don't have the uh, Ultra Ball. You have number one. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is one thing I wanted to change with the uh, Mets managers. They're not very good. Look at this. Oh, this guy's actually not bad. He gives us more plate vision and more power. This guy gives us lower clutch but more plate vision. All right. Actually, these managers aren't terrible. They're both B rating. We could uh, change up that a little bit, though. Some of our coaches to help us out. And all right. Wow. McNeil is leading the league in average so far. Yeah. Uh, China, I've traded for Wilmer. Brought him back to the Mets. He already has a home run for the team. <laughs> all right. Let's go into game number uh, four here, guys. We're starting off a series against the Philadelphia Phillies. We're 3-0 right now. Player locking with P. Alonzo. Let's go. We're batting 286. Two home runs out of three games, though, to start. Let's try and get that average up a little bit. Maybe do some more contact swings. I really don't do many contact. I'm going to try and do a little bit more contact swings this time, though. What's up, Tacos? How you been, man? Long time no see. I didn't see your comment until just now. Man, I'm going to watch everything in Toronto. Yeah, Toronto has some great sports, man. I love the Raptors. They're great. People love the Toronto Raptors now, especially after them winning the chip. And, of course, they love hockey. 
Bring Beltron back, Kappa. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm still supporting Liverpool. Man, how good have Liverpool been? Crazy. All right, guys. No more talking to the chat. Let's get into this game. Yeah, Rosario's having a little bit of a rough year to start. Ooh, we're going into a defensive thing here, and Bryce Harper's coming up. So it looks like Bryce Harper's about to line it to first base or ground out. We'll see. Oh, got it. Oh, but can I run it? Oh, I'm going to have to remember. We can't always try to run to first base. We're going to have to throw it to the uh, pitcher a couple times too. But, hey, we haven't had an error yet on the uh, in the field. Pete Alonzo still playing some good D. Yeah, it's been a couple years since I've been streaming, right? But we're back. So, yeah, last year, batted 260, 53 home runs. Move my camera up a little bit. Of course, he throws a knuckle curve down the middle when I'm moving my camera around. All right. Fastball on the outside there. We're not chasing. I'm looking low and in. Oh, that's where it is. Home run number three. Oh, boys. Okay. Dynamic difficulty. Remember, we're starting off a little bit lower difficulty. It's going to get harder and harder here as we go. We'll see where we end up, though. I think that's going to be really interesting in terms of the dynamic difficulty. And we're going to do these player lock series multiple times. So let me know in the comments or Twitch what player you would want to see next. Right now, we're starting off with Pete Alonzo. But we're going to be going into a lot of other players and running through some player lock series. So Another big home run. And that gives the Mets... A a lead. We're up four to one against the Phillies. So you guys can see there, the batting difficulty is now veteran plus. Ooh, slider down low. Aaron Judge. That could be a fun series. All right, 0-2 count here on Pete. That was a good pitch down low. I'm gonna look up high. Oh, it was there. Couldn't catch up though. No, check swing. We didn't go. Yes. Yo, Meerhat, thank you for the host. What's up, Codes? Oh, but it finds a hole. They're shifted on Pete Alonzo to the left side, and we found a gap. Another base hit. Somehow fought off that pitch low and away. Let's go, boys. Like I said, trying to up that average, right? And Conforto walks. All right, two men on. Looks like they just changed pitcher. Or they just did a checking out the pitcher. Go, go, go. Oh, man, double play. Ah, oh, too bad. We're on third base, though, with two outs. Mets on pace to go 162-0. Yeah, that was a pretty good adjustment, actually. Oh, he lines out there. Couldn't end up scoring. Too bad. All right, coming up to bat again. So right now, once again, we're at veteran plus. And another hit for Pete. Threw that knuckle curve exactly where I was looking. He smashed it. Let's go. We're three for three right now. I wonder if you get any like achievements or something if we. He's telling me to run. Look at the third base coach. All right, now he's telling me to wait. I gotta figure out how to slide too. Oh, you press L1 and then a. Uh, okay. Which positions make the most money? 
Um, I would say pitcher, starting pitcher. First baseman, because they're usually big power hitters. Third baseman as well. Center fielders. Shortstop. Catchers maybe don't make as much. Second baseman. And like corner outfielders. Actually, there's a lot of corner outfielders that make a lot. No mistakes running. We can't make a mistake here. Why is it making me watch every uh, pitch here? Usually it just shows you the last pitch. Oh, he struck out. But we're up 5-1 to one here. Managers? Uh, no, managers don't make a ton. Only like a select few will make maybe like 10 million a year or something. Maybe less, but I feel like most managers probably make like a million dollars a year. Pete Alonzo. Oh, that was a really long hit, but we get it out to center field. Well, I guess we're not going to be uh, four for four. Had to go for that one, though, right? That was just a normal swing. If we had swung power, maybe we could have brought it out of the park. Top of the ninth here. Got defensive thing. I mean, it's a professional sport. Oh, it didn't even let me throw. Huh. So I guess maybe it brings up the throw... Uh, the throw meter when I have to do it when I don't just always run to first and we would get another victory it looks like Tanaka gets the win this time and Pete Alonzo three for four with a home run big big start here But yeah, what do you think, like, how much does Jurgen Klopp make per year? What would you say he makes? Mets are 4-0. Let's keep it going. Big Pete coming up here again. Ooh, we're facing Aaron Nola this time. Looks like he had a rough start his first game. Got an ERA at 9. Steven Matz getting his first start of the year. Tanaka. Yeah, I know. He does look like he's like 50 years old. He's only 31. I was just checking. He's been in baseball for a long time. I, was, I thought he was a little older. He's only like 31, 32. Klopp making three and a half mil per year. All right, got a defensive thing here. And yeah, yo, if you guys are watching on YouTube, I'm also going to do some of the uh, the quick manage thing that they just showed right there. We won't always just simulate. I'll do some quick managing, especially if it's an important game. We'll quick manage everything like this, and then we'll play with Pete Alonzo. So here we are coming up to a bat here. First inning, we're down a run. Two men on. Ooh, I wanted to swing at that. Somehow I laid off. If I had swung, that probably would have been a double play. I'm going to look up and in this time. No, that didn't catch the zone. Wow, we got screwed by the ump. 0-2 count. I'm looking low and in. All right, he threw it there, but he missed. 1-2 count. Come on, Big Pete. All right. He doesn't want to come at me. Yo, what's up, McNabb? Thanks for joining the uh, beginning of the stream, bud. Welcome back. Oh. End up chasing that curveball.
We're still, we got the lead though, two to one. Look at his speed, boys. We got enough speed to get these guys. <laughs> Look at that. McNeil's on first base again. <laughs> Dude, I swear. Jeff McNeil. I'm always going to have him hitting in front of Pete. Nice. Good eye there. We're only up two to one, so let's see if we can get a little bit extra runs here for the boys. Oh. Should have laid off that, honestly. We're going to pop it up. Wow, he barely got to that. All right. Steven Matz is having a pretty decent start here. Looks like Aaron Nola is up. Is he going to bunt, or is this going to be a hit to me? Easy. Wait, what happened? They intentionally walked me? I think we got intentionally walked, right? Because it just skipped past me. Yeah, must have. 0 for 2, strikeout, fly out. Huh. They're intentionally walking Pete Alonso already? <laughs> We're dangerous. That means we're scary, guys. All right, 2-0 count. Let's see if we can get something. By the way, it's a tie game, 2-2. Two two. 3-0 count. Let's take a pitch. Actually, nah. If it's down the middle, I'm smashing it. Nope, ball four. Well, we're working some walks with Pete. I like it. Conforto comes up next. We're obviously not going to try to steal. It's up the middle. We'll stay here at second. I looked at my third base coach and he wasn't waving me on. Nice job, Conforto. Smashing that high fastball up the middle. Two men on, no outs. Wilson Ramos. Yeah, no point in tagging, right? Bryce Harper and Pete Alonso is not very fast. <laughs> All right. J.D. Davis coming up. Come on, J.D. I gave you that chance to start every day. Yeah, we should probably tag up here. Nope, nope, nope. Go back. <laughs> Definitely not. Stay in scoring position. Come on, Mariznick. You can do it. All right, stay and stay here at third. Oh, that ends the inning. But we did good base running. I didn't make a mistake. All right, still a tie game here. Uh-oh, we got a man on first, one out. Uh-oh. Looks like it's going to get hit to me. Or not. Could be a double play. Got him. Nice, Rosario with the defense. Yo, if you guys are new to the Twitch stream, say what's up in chat. We got one follower so far. Hey, MS Divin Loca. You're the newest follower. There it is. Welcome, man. Appreciate that. And we got a chance here with Big Pete. Seventh inning, tied two to two. Two outs, so we don't have an opportunity for a uh, sack fly. Looks like the difficulty just went up, too. First pitch of the at -bat on its way. 
All right, not chasing that change up. Welcome to Club Buddha. We here. All right, good eye. 2-0 count here. If he throws it down the middle, I'm ready. If he doesn't, we're waiting. All right. Weird pitch. It wasn't a strike. That was clearly a strike. The umpire gave me the call. 3-0 count. And we walk. Bases loaded here in the seventh inning. Conforto, what you going to do? I want to see a home run. Oh, he strikes out. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and just simulate to the next appearance. We got to do this more often because it goes a little faster, right? Watching him do the quick manage is a little bit slower. Oh, no. I'm used to playing inverted. <laughs> I almost messed up the throw. But, hey, we made our first good play there with the throw to uh, the pitcher. Yo, McNabb and Bob, appreciate you welcoming people into the stream. We're here on straight stream day number five. We're still trying to build. Oh, no, boys. We're in the 10th inning, and we're down two runs. Pete Alonzo's got to start an inning off here. We're going to take our first L. 2-0 count. We got to get a man on base here, so I'm not going to chase anything. Oh, of course. I swear, I need to stop saying that because whenever I do that, it's down the middle and I should be smashing it. Wow, he almost hit me. That was almost a hit by pitch. Conforto's coming up next, and he's batting over 400, so. Did I get it? Oh, a little bit under it. He swung like that was a home run for a second. It was close, though. Oh, man. We couldn't start off the inning there, and it looks like we're taking our first L of the year. Not the best performance from us either. We went 0 for 3, but we did have two walks. At least we worked a couple walks. If you get hit by the pitch, you go to first base. First loss of the year. Four and one now. Let's go check our uh, batting average. DeGrom is pitching next. Oh, wow. Look at this pitching matchup. Zach Wheeler versus Jacob DeGrom. Zach Wheeler is a Mets player from the past couple years. We're going to be facing off against him. Pete Alonso versus Zach Wheeler. Let's go check how everyone's doing. Rosario still having a rough start. 167, but still early. Cano, 370. McNeil, 500. We're batting 333, guys. Not bad. With three home runs. That's big. We got big three home runs already. And remember, it's going to be getting more and more difficult as we go. All right, let's continue. This is career mode. We're going into the uh, rubber game of this series. We won the first game against the Phillies. They won the second. Let's see if we can get this done. I wonder uh, if we're managing the team, too. If we're, we may have to rest Pete a couple games. He's going to get tired. So we might have to rest him at some point. We'll see here. If you guys are new, say what's up. I don't know how many viewers we have or anything, but I assume we have like five or six or Maybe 10. <laughs> oh, look. Ahmed Rosario had to double to start off this inning. Let's see if we can drive him home. McNabb, what else has been going on with you, bud? Let's take first pitch here. 
Nice. Up and in. It's a ball. Rocking seven viewers right now. I'm honestly not worried about the viewer count, though. I'm back streaming just to have fun. Just to hang out with you guys in quarantine and have a good time. You know what's crazy, right? My mother called me earlier today, and she's getting really scared. How is that a ball? Ump, are you high? Anyways, we got a 3-0 count. We'll take a pitch. Um, so my mother called me today, and she was saying that she doesn't want me to do Uber driving because she's, uh, she's really scared about the Rona. So... I don't know. We'll have to see. She was offering to uh, to pay me not to drive for a couple weeks. I'm like, I don't want you to pay me. What? <laughs> but I do. I mean, I can't. Have... Oh, wow. Big home run. Conforto with a three-run shot as we were on base there. I was about to start booking it. Let's go, Michael Conforto. Nice. I like watching the uh, at bats there when you're on base. Let's simulate to the next appearance. But look at Conforto smashing it. I was ready to run too. That barely got out. I was ready to roll. Alright, back up here with Pete. One man on, two outs. Ooh. Yeah, I agree. That's what I keep telling her, but she's all watching the news and getting all scared and everything and I don't know. O2 count here. Come on, Pete. Look at the Mets rocking Zach Wheeler. Feels good. 1 2 count. I'll see what he does. I'm looking low and in. Ooh, ends up on the outside by layoff. It. Yeah, definitely right about a mother's love. That's for sure. Another pitch we lay off, and we're back to another 3-2 count with Pete. Yo, is our vision going to go up because of how many times we've walked already and had 3-2 counts? Oh, ho. I was looking low. It was at 98 miles an hour, too, so I didn't have much time to adjust. Good pitch, Wheeler. Honestly, as a Mets fan, I'm going to miss Zach Wheeler. Bob says, my mom made me move back in with the parents while UK is on lockdown. I'm sure a lot of parents did that. You're coming back to live at home. The lockdown ain't bugging you that much because you got rum. <laughs> my man McNabb. Yo, McNabb, I was running through my, uh, my nationalities with my dad. And he's been doing the uh, whatever that website is where you look where your family history and whatnot. And we found out that we're more Scottish than we thought we were. We don't really know how much. But it's weird. Apparently, our, like, some of our ancestors m moved from the Netherlands to Scotland. Is that, like, a thing? Do you know in Scotland, is there, like, a Dutch population at all? Look at them showing the replay of Conforto home run. That's where a lot of the Scottish people originate from, is uh, Netherlands. Huh. Oh, oh, okay. You meant something different. And strike out from Ramos. We're not having much uh, action on the base pass. But looks like we got another victory. Jacob DeGrom gets the victory. And not a lot of action for us, guys. 0 for 1 with a run scored. 
Wow, it's kind of a weird game. But we pick up another win and we beat Zach Wheeler that time. What city, what town? I don't know. You could ask, I could ask my dad. But obviously they went from Netherlands to Scotland to uh, New York. And that is the end of that series. We're 5-1. and one. And all right, so I think that's where we're going to end it, guys. We played six games. We're going to be continuing this YouTube series on Twitch and on YouTube, so check me out there. Let's go ahead and advance day here and check some of the stats before we end. So we're going to be going up against the Nationals again. We just had two uh, series there at City Field, right? And now we're going away to Washington. Check out some of the results from yesterday. Starting yeah, we're going to Washington now. We're going to be on the road for the next couple series. Got the Nationals coming up, then Houston for a two-game series, and then Milwaukee. So a big road trip coming up here for a couple weeks. Let's go ahead and check the stats, boys. So Ahmed Rosario brings his average up to above 200. Cano batting 300 with a home run. McNeil 440 with a home run. Our average comes down a little bit. 318, three home runs, six RBIs out of 22 at bats. I'm down with that. Let the uh, commentary chill out. Hold on. What is the guy saying in the background? Launched two home runs and added five RBIs to his total as Colorado got the best of the Dodgers. Seven How do I turn that off? The Tampa Bay Rays allowed only five hits. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a way to turn that off. All right, so anyways, let's go through the lineup. Rosario is up above 200. Cano doing well. McNeil, great start. Let's check the league leaders too. And then Pete, guys, out of 22 at-bats. Three home runs, six RBI, batting 318. It's a good start for us. Conforto having a good start. Three home runs, showing some power. Ramos, wow. We're doing really well with the bats. Nice. All of our moves and trades have worked out so far. I remember Tanaka got the win in his first start. Look at that, boys. We got Syndergaard, DeGrom, Stroman, Tanaka, Steven Matz up to a 77. Adovino's in the bullpen, so he's not very happy. Dellen Batansis, I'm going to make him the closer, by the way. Let's make Seth Lugo the setup man. And anything else? Yeah, let's go check the uh, league leaders here. So, Conforto, 8 RBIs. DeGrom leading the league in strikeouts. 25 strikeouts in two games? Damn. Jeff McNeil up there in average. Let's go check uh, where we are. So in terms of batting average, where's Big Pete? There we are. About 26, tied for 25th at 318. Let's check doubles. We did have one double, I think, but we have th home runs, right? Home run leaders, we're up there. Got Josh Bell, Nolan Arenado, and Javi Baez with four. RBIs, Conforto has more RBIs than we do. Look at Lorenzo Cain showing th some uh, power this year. McCutcheon as well, back from injury. All right. We'll continue to track this all year. A good start in the series so far. Pete Alonzo, off to a decent start, boys. Thank you for joining. Remember to check me out on Twitch if you're watching this on YouTube. I'm just going to post this whole video, so be prepared. So be prepared for some longer videos. Thanks for joining. See you soon.